You know, the upside to all this is I get to talk about my shoes. So, not much different from any other day, but hey. What's good everyone, YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And don't mind the mask. Uh, it's not because of the quarantine. I haven't shaved in like three or four days. So I don't want to show my face. Uh, and also my hair's all tied up and I'm wearing this ridiculous shirt I've never worn outside before. Good old James Harden and Iron Man. But, you know, I'm staying inside, so, you know, this is the only time I'm going to get to wear this shirt. But anyway, we're here today to talk about a pretty interesting collaboration that happened between Adidas Skateboarding and, uh, uh, Skateboarder, per se, uh, Blondie McCoy. And, uh, I'm not going to pretend I know much about Blondie. I looked him up a little bit. Apparently, he's the founder of, uh, Ten's, uh, clothing brand. I've seen some of this stuff. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, he decided he wanted to do this collaboration with uh, Adidas on the Superstar and decided to just do a pretty quick and interesting flip by making the shoe translucent, spoiler alert. But, you know, I think alongside with the translucent shoe, he's also, you know, done a nice sort of deal with the packaging and the extras as well, which we'll get into right now. So, without further ado, today we're talking about the Adidas Superstar 80s. Uh, Blondie McCoy in the white colorway. Now I say white colorway because there is a black colorway of the same shoe, so we'll just call this one white. So yeah, with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So starting off, we already have this pretty interesting uh, double shelf uh, box. Uh, we've got Adidas and Blondie written at the top, and in this smaller shelf uh, with all these nice little ropes, uh, we've got Adidas and Blondie written again, and inside this box actually we have uh, three extra socks that I've already opened, and they're pretty, they're like these long sort of like soccer socks that come all the way up to your knees, and we have a pair of white, red, and uh, blue socks, and on each of the socks we've actually got different things written on them, so on the white sock uh, we've got Blondie written on the left sock, and Adidas written on the white sock, and we've got the blue line and the three stripes at the back. On the red pair of socks, on the right sock, we've actually got St. Gills written, and we've got the same blue line as well. And on the left sock, we've got Cambridge written down the front of it. And then finally, on the pair of blue socks, and we still have the same blue line, it's just hard to notice with the uh, blue sock itself. On the right sock, we've got Oxford written, and then on the left sock, we have got Piccadilly. So for all my no Monopoly fans, you know, Piccadilly, Oxford, there you go. And then in the main compartment, this is where the shoe was stored. So Adidas and Blondie written again, and a few more Adidas branded uh, bits. Once we pull the box open, we just got standard wrapping paper with Adidas written all over it. And the shoes actually weren't stuffed with anything, so that was kind of interesting. And we moved to the label, it reads Superstar 80s. So, the retail price on these. These shoes retail for a price of $130, I'm pretty sure. I didn't pay this. After a coupon code, I managed to get these shoes down to $91 Australian dollars. I'll put the conversion here. And for 91 Australian dollars, considering the packaging, the extra socks, and you know, the the translucent aspect of the shoe itself, I thought that was pretty worth it in my opinion. And I've never owned a Superstar before, so why not start with something weird? So, with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are. The Adidas Superstar 80, Blondie McCoy, in the white colorway. So, to make this really simple, uh, the easiest way I could describe this is the main feature of this shoe is just the translucent upper, really. So, where most of the leather would be found on a regular Superstar, we've actually got uh, this translucent plastic that runs along the entire upper of this shoe, aside from like the branding bits which are found on the heel and on the side of the shoe. And another thing to indicate this as a collaboration, instead of the usual superstar text written in gold, we've got Blondie written on the side. So obviously with this translucent feature, the socks come in handy because depending on the socks you're wearing, uh, it will change pretty much the main color of this shoe, which will give you a lot of options for customization if you happen to have really strong sock game. My sock game is not that strong, I usually just wear white socks, so this kind of is going to end up like a white superstar in general. 
Um, aside from that, it's largely unchanged. It's the typical superstar with the very signature uh, shell toe, uh, hence the nickname the shell toe shoes, and the, the pretty signature midsole and outsole setup with the herringbone traction. Now, a couple of things I wanted to point out. Uh, this is a Superstar 80s, which is kind of like the Chuck 70 for Converse, right? Where there are minor differences to the regular Superstar. Now, the three main differences are on the toe cap, on the shell toe itself, the texture is different compared to the regular Superstar. Regular Superstars usually have this crisscross pattern, whereas this one's a lot more plain and simple. Also, the midsole itself and outsole is a lot more textured in terms of like the sort of horizontal lines, whereas on regular Superstars, it's a lot more flat. So if you look closely, you can see it's almost like a wood kind of pattern, and especially with this gum color, it does look a bit like wood. As well as on the outsole, along these edges, you've got these sort of um, dashes running along it. And the final thing that I wanted to mention about the Superstar 80s is it's actually cut a bit narrower than a regular Superstar. I don't have a photo of it, but when I went in store and compared the two, I found that especially around the midfoot and heel section, the Superstar 80 is actually a fair bit narrower than the regular Superstar. So that is something that I'm going to get into when I talk about the sizing. But yeah, that pretty much covers the main features of this particular shoe. Now, in terms of sizing, because of like the narrowness of this shoe, I would definitely recommend that like most people should probably stick true to size it, it, because of the narrowness. Now, you, you could go half a size up if you have really wide feet, but the thing I want to mention is because there's no padding whatsoever in the shoe, um, the shoe actually fits really long as well. So it's just one of those really long and narrow fitting shoes. So if you go half size up, there's going to be way too much space in the toe. And if you go half size down, I would say that the narrowness would be a huge issue. So overall, I would say for normal to wide feet people, just stick true to size or maybe not even get this shoe if you have super wide feet. If you have really narrow feet, you may be able to get away with going half size down in this shoe. Now, I'm usually a 9.5, a, a US 9.5 in most of my sneakers. I bought these in a US 9.5 and, and the length's a bit long, but the width was pretty good. So overall, I'd say, yeah, true to size, but it's a weird one, I'll tell you that. Now, in terms of comfort, um, the midsole and outsole itself is really nothing special. This is really old technology. I'm pretty sure there is no technology. It's just like rubber. Um, most of the cushion you're getting is from this insole, which honestly isn't even that good. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is the upper of the shoe. Now, I, at first I was really worried that the plastic would be really stiff and um, kind of like inflexible, but actually the plastic itself is rather thin and pretty pliable actually. So in terms of movement, the plastic itself is fine, but breathability has absolutely been sacrificed on this shoe. Now they do try and mitigate this by adding these ventilation holes on the side of the shoe, but overall this shoe just seems to heat up really quickly and for obvious reasons there's no way any moisture or air can sort of get through. And in fact, I find sometimes the shoe can get a little steamy, like you can see it's starting to fog off and that's a little weird. But overall I would say comfort is to be expected of a superstar. Um, but honestly, who's buying this shoe for its comfort? And that's why I get into my opinions on this shoe. Now, the Superstar overall has always been a shoe that like I kind of like had a love-hate relationship with. Um, I think it's definitely like a classic model, but at the same time, it's so ubiquitous and like so outplayed that almost everyone has the shoe. And like, you know, it's the little hype beast in me talking to me, but like I don't want to buy a shoe that every single person under the sun has. I'm always trying to look for something interesting. But this clear iteration, I think, does enough to make this shoe, you know, interesting enough for me to buy. And the fact that I bought these for $91 plus the extra socks included as well. And the fact that I could pretty much change the look of this shoe depending on the socks I wear. I just thought, for the package and the price itself, this is definitely a shoe that I could see myself using in the future. Um, I actually intend to use these as like, possibly like dance shoes. Um, because you get to play around with the socks and um, I've seen a lot of uh, dancers using uh, Superstars before so I assume it 
kind of stands up against the test of like durability. And I've actually seen a photo of uh, Blondie uh, posting a photo of his shoe after like six weeks of skating in them. And from what I've heard, six weeks for a skateboard shoe is actually pretty good. Um, his shoe was completely torn up, but I mean, I've seen the tricks he does. He can do a pretty neato burrito trick on his board. So I don't question the durability of this shoe in the long term. But yeah, uh, overall I just say it's a simple flip, but it, it's interesting enough for me. So that's my opinions on this shoe. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. So, I'd like to hear what you guys think of the Superstar 80 Blondie in this white colorway. And I guess out of the two colorways that are uh, released, which one was your favorite? So easily for me, this one's my favorite because the black colorway actually had a smoked plastic and I didn't think that looked as good. As well as the fact that apparently they retailed at 250 pounds, which is ridiculous. So I think I'd rather just go with this colorway. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you're into more sneaker content as well as maybe dance content and vlogs and that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Now time for the on feet with all the various sockies and I'll catch you guys in another video.